Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about acids and bases. We're going to see what acids and bases actually are. We're going to learn about the pH scale. And we're going to look at different indicators and see what they tell us about different substances. So let's start off by looking at this thing here, which is called the pH scale. So the pH scale is a scale which ranges from 0 to 14. And depending on where a substance is on this scale, tells us whether it's an acid, neutral or an alkali. So let's start off by looking at acids. So acids is anything with a pH of less than 7. So all of this section here of the pH scale are all acids. Now what an acid actually is, is it's a kind of show of the concentration of H plus ions, hydrogen ions. So a substance down here, let's say pH 1, will have an extreme uh, will be a very strong acid something like stomach acid or battery acid so this means it has a very high concentration of um, of hydrogen ions as we go closer to seven we have a lower and lower concentration of hydrogen ions so maybe here around four or five we actually it's still acidic because it's still less than seven but now we have a weak acid instead when we get to 7, pH 7, we describe these substances as being neutral. Water is an example, pure water is an example of a neutral substance, which means there's not a high concentration of H plus ions, and there's not a co high concentration of OH minus ions. Because let's have a look at the bases. So first of all, I think it's important um, there's two different phrases or two different key terms that we often hear. One is alkali and one is base. So a base is a substance which reacts with an acid to make salt and water. That is our definition there of a base. All an alkali is, all an alkali is, it's a base which is soluble in water. So they're similar, but please be aware of that subtle difference. Now, our bases or our alkalis are anything with a pH above seven. So all of these here are my alkalis. Now, acids is all about concentration of H plus ions. Alkalis is all about concentration of OH minus ions. So it then behaves in a really similar way that we saw from our acids. So right at this end, we have a very high concentration of OH minus ions. That means over here, we have extremely strong alkalis, such as bleach. The closer we get to neutral, the lower and lower the concentration is of OH minus ions. So let's say around 9 or 8, here we have weak alkalis. Now the most harmful substances to do with acids and alkalis lay at either end of the scale. So if I was to spill this on my hand, a very strong acid or a very strong alkali on my hand, it could really damage me. Whereas in the, in the middle, with neutral substances that don't have a high concentration of H plus ions or a high concentration of OH minus ions, they are much safer um, to, compared to our strong acids or our strong alkalis. So what's this colour scale all about? So there's different things called indicators. And what indicators do is they change colour to show us if a substance is an acid, neutral or an alkali. And the, the one that this scale is based on here is an indicator called universal indicator. It's very useful because it shows us if we added a few drops of universal indicator to an unknown substance, it would change to one of these colours to show the uh, to show whether it was a strong acid, weak acid. We'd be able to find the pH based on the colour change. So universal indicator gives us a nice change in spectrum of colours like this. There's also three other indicators that we need to know about and what they look like in each different condition. So first of all, we have litmus. In acidic conditions, it's red. In neutral conditions, it's purple. 
and in alkaline conditions, it is blue. Methyl orange is a different indicator, again, something which changes colour to show us whether it's an acid, alkaline, or neutral. In acidic conditions, that is also red. In neutral conditions and alkali conditions, it's yellow. Now, the reason why, the reason why I'm not writing the word yellow in yellow is just because it wouldn't show up for the video. Now, finally, this really difficult looking word, phenolphthalein, is another indicator. Um, so, phenolphthalein in acidic conditions is colourless. In neutral conditions, it's also colourless. But in alkaline conditions, it will have a colour change and it will appear pink. So you could use any of these different indicators in order to determine whether you have an acid or an alkali or a neutral solution on your hands. And that's all we need to know about acids and bases. Thank you.